Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, DwyerSportsBetting.com. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Well, they've posted the odds. The casinos are back at it again, and they're trying to take your money. Right? This is the day before the heavyweight title fight between Bermain Stavern and Deontay Wilder. Right now, in an earlier video, my recommended play was Bermain Stavern, the underdog, to win the fight. Right? I don't think much of Wilder. Hedged against Wilder by KO. But understand, Wilder is wide, wildly overrated. Wildly overrated. And so, incredibly, today, the casinos have Wilder by KO as a minus 150. That's outrageous, folks. Right? What the casinos are telling you is that the most likely outcome of this fight is Wilder by KO. Understand how ridiculous that is. Remain Stavern hasn't been KO'd for seven and a half years. And understand when he was TKO'd, right, it was questionable. He had actually knocked down his opponent, right? The opponent got off the canvas. The fight got to the fourth round. Stavern got buzz, no question about it. He's on his feet, and this was kind of a George Groves, Carl Froch first fight stoppage by the referee. There's no glass on Bermain Stavern's chin. None. But yet the casino is overpricing Wilder by Kale. Why? Because I believe casual boxing fans are bidding that up. Let me also tell you, too, this is how casinos take your money. The over-under on this fight is a seven-and-a-half round mark, right? If this fight goes over the seven-and-a-half, the casino is giving you a plus 200. So I'm guessing many people are going to be tempted here to take Wilder by KO and then a hedge it with the over seven and a half rounds. Don't make that mistake. Understand Bermain Stavern hits at least as hard as Deontay Wilder. And keep in mind, Stavern hits you hard with both hands. Either one of these guys can get the KO. So let's squeeze these odds and try to get value from the casino, because I certainly don't want to pay a minus 150 for Wilder by KO. That's ridiculous, especially when I don't even think he wins the fight. What I want you to do is to consider taking Wilder by KO in just the first half of the fight as the hedge. In other words, keep in mind, at the casino, you're getting a plus 145. Think about that. <laughs> A plus 145 on Bermain to simply to win the fight. That, to me, should be your main play. I would hedge that by Wilder by KO in just rounds 1 to 6. Don't pay for rounds 7 to 12. Understand, Wilder has never made it beyond the fourth round. Right? Understand. Wilder is green as a boxer as it is is so if this fight gets to the fifth round that's how early folks if it gets to the fifth round Wilder's going to be in uncharted territory let's just say too I know Sergei Kovalev went farther than he had ever gone before and looked impressive in the 12th round against Bernard Hopkins I think Kovalev is a different personality type than Wilder I think Wilder feeds off emotion. I think Wilder's the kind of idiot who would go out there and try to fight a heckling fan, which is what he did. Look it up on YouTube. Right? Immature guys who have 100% KO ratios, where all the KOs come early, he's never been tested in the second half of a fight, against patient 36-year-old 
very mature guys with equal punching power who have been in the ring with aggressive heavyweights who have been in wars. Didn't Stervain fight? Didn't Bermain Stavern fight Chris Ariola twice? I think this is a recipe for a fighter falling apart. As it is early on, I don't think Wilder has more of an opportunity to KO Stavern than Stavern has of KOing him. Later in the fight, I think only Stavern has a chance to not only get the KO, but to win rounds. Right? I know Wilder won a bronze medal in the Olympics. Right? I know he's not a Johnny-come-lately. But I see it the other way. How could this guy have fought in the Olympics and still be this green after more than 30 pro fights? So, let's change the hedge I recommended earlier just a bit to make this more feasible. Before I said Bermain Stavern to win the fight, hedge with Wilder by KO. Because the casinos have completely overpriced Wilder by KO, let's change it slightly. Instead of Bermain Stavern to win, hedge with Wilder by KO. Let's make this Bermain Stavern to win, hedged with Wilder by KO in rounds one to six. That's the bet I like. For the daredevils out there, let's go even further. Another possibility, quite frankly, depending on your risk tolerance, is Bermain Stavern to win the fight, hedged with Wilder by KO in rounds one to three. You're getting a plus 275 on that round one to three KO prop. Let me hear from you. By the way, I know there are those of you online here who claim that I hate Wilder. Quite the opposite. I have nothing personal against De Deontay Wilder. In fact, from a betting perspective, I love overrated fighters. Right? Love them. This guy has the public fool, right? So, you're telling me that I get to get the better fighter, Bermain Stavern, and you're going to give me better than even money? Hey, I got no axe to grind with Deontay Wilder. I'd shake his hand if I saw him. Because he's delivering value for us on the other side of the play in the bet. Understand, gamblers love overrated athletes and overrated teams, right? Because then the play makes itself. I like Stavern here to win, hedged with Wilder by only an early KO, right? I would do a rounds one to six. Some casinos are only offering rounds one to three, four to five, etc. If your casino isn't offering a one to six, then take as the hedge, Wilder by KO rounds one to three, right? Isn't that when he stopped Malik Scott? Isn't that when he stopped Sergei Lakovic? Isn't that when he stopped Audley Harrison? Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com and dwyersportsbetting.com. Thanks for stopping by.